All right, uh, some interesting developments today. Uh, Kimberly Cheadle, the head of the uh, U.S. Secret Service, did participate in a virtual uh, briefing today. Senator Josh Hawley was one of the principal participants in that. Uh, Homeland Security Committee, Republican Senator from Missouri. Senator, very good to have you. Thank you. How did it go? But badly. I mean, let's be honest, the Secret Service is out there and the FBI now doing these secret calls, these behind the scenes briefings where, by the way, they don't really answer questions. Uh, they limited, strictly limited the number of questions. The Secret Service director herself did not actually brief. She was present on the call, but didn't do hardly any briefing. When she did try to answer a question or two, it did not go well. She was not well prepared. This needs to be done in public. Bottom line, we need public hearings. We need a full and thorough investigation. Neil, what we know about this is that there were 62 minutes, 62 between the time that the Secret Service identified the shooter as a person of interest, somebody acting suspiciously, and the time he started firing shots at the president. I mean, what in the world is going on? We've got to find out. Um, I, I, I mean, of course, that briefing was yesterday. There are going to be many more to come. You, uh, you, have, you know, want to hold the authorities accountable and find out what, what was behind their thinking. But to your point, Senator, she has indicated she's not stepping down. Um, she intends to stay there. And unless the president and or Alejandro Mayorkas, her boss at Homeland Security, uh, pushes her out, she's there, right? Yeah, then nobody, here's, here's the pattern, Neil. Nobody in this administration is ever responsible, ever takes any responsibility for anything. Look at Afghanistan, 13 service members dead, hundreds if not thousands of civilians left behind to the enemy. And what did Joe Biden do? Nothing. Who was fired? Nobody. Now we've got a former president nearly assassinated. We have a good American shot to death at this rally, others in critical condition, and no one will take any responsibility. I mean, these people ought to be gone. Absolutely, the director ought to be gone. The whole top echelon ought to be gone. But I tell you what, we're going to get to the bottom of this and figure out what these people were doing. How did they allow this to happen? Why did they allow a good American to be killed? Why did they allow Trump to go on stage knowing they had a potential shooter? It's outrageous. All right, guys. So we got to talk about some bombshell information that could give us more insight on why and how the failed Trump assassination attempt was allowed to happen okay because that in my opinion is what's going on here it was allowed to happen either because of extreme negligence or because of intent i don't know yet however i think it's worth an investigation i'm talking about an investigation outside of the fbi because i don't trust the fbi to give us the truth about what happened that day okay we need an independent investigation that can really shed light on why this was allowed to happen. And we have some information from Senator Josh Hawley, who is one of my favorite senators, by the way. I am very, very, very sad uh, over the fact that because of the whole fist thing on January 6th, uh, he probably won't be running for president anytime soon. But if Trump would have picked Josh Hawley as his vice president, I would be extremely excited, probably just as excited as I would be about a Trump Vivek Ramaswamy ticket. Uh, Josh Hawley is probably my favorite senator, no doubt. So um, he has done some good work because uh, Secret Service agents, uh, whistleblowers, have come out and basically stated that, hey, these people that were assigned to protect Trump weren't even Secret Service. So again, this could explain why we saw imagery like this that kind of shocked the country in regards to the people protecting the former president of the United States. We love you! We love you, Trump! We love you! We love you, Trump! We love you, Yeah, so that type of footage is embarrassing, right? It really is embarrassing for the Secret Service, and this has led to calls 
for the director of the Secret Service, Kim Cheadle, to resign or be fired. Now, again, I'm not entirely sure why she hasn't been fired uh, yet. Uh, because, again, this is supposed to be a zero fail mission. And there's no doubt in my mind if this was allowed to happen to Joe Biden, she definitely would be fired. But because it happened to Trump, she's not facing consequences. And it seems as if, in my opinion, the longer that she stays in the job, um, that kind of leads more in the direction of, well, is there some intentionality here? Because if it wasn't intentional, then there was some serious neglect, neglect that is worthy of somebody being fired. Her not being fired speaks volumes about what could possibly be down a rabbit hole in regards to what actually happened here, okay? Again, we have whistleblowers inside the Department of Homeland Security have alleged that the majority of security detail for former President Donald Trump were not even Secret Service, according to a Republican lawmaker. Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri relayed these claims in a public letter to Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas on Friday outlining a series of security failures at Trump's faithful Butler, Pennsylvania rally. Quote, whistleblowers who have direct knowledge of the event have approached my office according to the allegations. The July 13 rally was considered to be a loose security event. Holly wrote in the latter. Again, that should never happen. There should never be an event involving the president of the United States, especially a rally. OK, uh, outside. Yeah, uh, that should never be considered a loose security event like that's preposterous for example detection canines were not used to monitor entry and uh, detect threats in the usual manner individuals without proper designations were able to gain access to backstage areas other lapses in security protocol allegedly included a lack of personnel stationed around the security perimeter and an in adequately enforced buffer zone around the podium among the most troubling is the claim that the majority of personnel protecting the former president were not u.s secret service agents quote whistleblower allegations suggest the majority of dhs officials were not in fact uh, u.s secret service agents but instead drawn from the department of homeland security's investigations holly wrote this is especially concerning given the hsi agents were unfamiliar with standard protocols typically used at these types of events according to the allegations okay so that would explain again why this was allowed to happen okay so if you're using security personnel who are not trained who don't understand the protocols that are typically taken when you're having an event involving the former president of the United States and you're using them, then that could explain the obvious negligence that took place, okay? I mean, they let an amateur, an amateur who was spotted, according to some accounts, an hour before Trump took the stage, they just allowed this dude to run around with a rangefinder, get a ladder, climb on top of the roof, get his weapon. Apparently, law enforcement confronted the guy before he was able to take a shot at Trump, but decided to, I don't know, run away or not really try to engage. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're giving the president the JV team, and it doesn't even sound like this is the JV team, to be quite honest with you. This sounds like this is worse than the JV team. If you're giving Trump, you know, the D team, then, yeah, that could explain why that happened. Now, the question has to be, who made this call? And whoever made the call to give the former president the JV team should be fired because clearly it was the wrong call, okay? Again, if this is true, that a vast majority of the people protecting the president weren't Secret Service, again, that could explain why it seems like they did a slop job when it comes to protecting the former president and again whoever made that call needs to be fired in fact again the people at the top should be fired alejandro mariorcas should be fired and kim Cheadle should be fired again if democrats want unity this is what they claim well again a good step would be firing these individuals okay that would be a good step The Missouri senator criticized the DHS for failing to provide information about the incident to Congress and abruptly ending the only call with U.S. Secret Service before most senators could even ask a question. Well, they don't want any questions, okay? They don't believe they should be held accountable, okay? This is what they believe. 
Uh, Senator Ron Johnson previously detailed the Secret Service briefing given to senators on Wednesday about the recent assassination attempt against former President Trump, saying there had been virtually no information provided. Quote, the director of the Secret Service did admit there were mistakes and gaps, Johnson said, referring to Kimberly Cheadle. But the briefing, which was given by a separate official, was largely irrelevant. According to Johnson, only four senators were allowed to ask questions and there were no follow ups, he said. Holly's letter demands answers to a series of questions relevant to the claims made by the whistleblowers, including the ratio of U.S. Secret Service agents to HSI agents and pre-rally security investigations. Yeah, we, we definitely need more answers on this, OK, because. This is unacceptable, right? This is insane. The rabbit hole continues to get deeper and deeper. Now, again, the question really is, who made this call and why did they make this call, right? Would they get Biden this team, right? Because if you're going to do diversity, equity, and inclusion, okay, well, do that to Biden, right? Give Biden all the women, okay? If, if that's how you really feel, okay? You, you think they're equally qualified, give them the, the Biden. But you don't need to be running these types of experiments with Trump. But again, this is what they're doing. Honestly, I'm surprised that Trump even trusts Secret Service to protect him considering who's running the White House. I'm surprised he didn't have his own security just to try to double and triple check the Secret Service to make sure everything was being done properly. Because you definitely can't trust these individuals that are weaponizing the government against you. So who knows? I mean, the rabbit hole can be so deep that they purposely may have given Trump the JB team for security, knowing that there were these types of threats out there, okay? Like, I mean, allegedly, Iran was plotting to assassinate President Trump, or they're currently doing that. So if you know that, why are you giving the president the JV team? It's, inexplic it's inexplicable, right? It makes absolutely zero sense unless there was some intentionality here where it seems as if they believe that protecting the life of the former president is, um, you know, not that big of a priority, right? Again, if you're going to send a JV team to somebody, maybe you're lacking personnel, maybe you're having issues hiring folks. If, if that's the case, then give them to Obama, give them to Bill Clinton, give them to Biden, but don't give them to Trump. Don't give them to Trump. But again, this is the part of the reason why we have to win because this woman clearly is not going to be held accountable by Biden and the Democrats. So again, we have to win. We have to get back in the White House and we have to get rid of DEI in the government. OK, we've already seen this ideology result in a disaster. We've already seen it. How much more of it do we have to see to know that, hey, this is not good for this country. We shouldn't be hiring people based off their sex. Okay, we shouldn't be hiring people based on race. We should hire the most qualified individuals. If all males are protecting the president, then so be it, right? Those are the best and qualified individuals for that job. But again, it seems like the rabbit hole goes a little bit deeper than DEI here. Uh, it seems as if they gave Trump, again, the JV team. And we need to know answers on why was that the case. And whoever made that decision should be fired immediately. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.